time for the faith walk of the day. Um, Y'all know I'm a singer and I know a lot of singers, but did you know just how much the scripture talks about us singing? Psalms 98 says, sing to the Lord a new song for he has done marvelous things in his right, his right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to Israel and all the ends of the earth, earth have seen the salvation of the Lord. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. Make music to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of singing, with trumpets and the blast of the ram's horn. Shout for the joy of the Lord, the King. Let the sea resound and everything in it, in the world and all who live in it. We're supposed to be singing. Not just the great voices, the mediocre ones. Because you're not singing, uh, it's not about your sound. It's not, singing is not about you. It's not about how good you sound. It's about what you're singing and who you're singing to, especially to my believers out there and to my gospel artists out there. What we sing and who we sing to should be the most important thing, not the charts, not the streams, not competing with someone else. This is what everybody's talking about. This will be a cool, not for a gimmick, you know, not for, um, trying to be smart, like, oh, I'm going to make this song is so smart. We're supposed to be singing to the joy of the Lord. Yes, we sing to the Father. Yes, we sing congregational songs where we encourage each other. Um, but we should be singing, not based on will they like my voice? Will they pay attention for me? I cannot, I cannot tell you how many people I have encountered who won't sing because of what people will think. Let's think about that for a minute. You won't sing to the Lord, to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. His word talks about singing, sing unto the Lord all the time. You see, sing unto the Lord, sing for the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is just sing, just sing, 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 all these things, right? The song, the, the scripture even talks about them singing before they went to war, singing after war, singing when, when they're mourning, just singing. And you won't sing because of what somebody's going to think. The Bible never told us to sing for people to like us. It never told us to sing to get attention. It said, sing for the joy of the Lord. Make melody in your heart to the Lord is what one of the scriptures says. I used to love that when I was a little girl. And I didn't even know how I found it. It is somewhere in Ephesians. And it used to bless my life every time I saw it. And I was like, wow, make melody in my heart to the Lord. Not for other people. It's Ephesians 5 and 19. Speaking to one another with songs, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. Songs can lift you, music can lift you, it can shift you, it can empower you, it can equip you. Make sure you're using the power of song. We use it a lot here at Get Up Mornings, but even in your regular life, use music as a tool to lift you and to give God glory, all right? That is my faith walk for today. 